What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the massive Bat Space Shuttle set from the Lego Batman movie, which is set 70923. This set has 643 pieces, comes with three minifigures here and three additional Batman suits. It has a little bat kayak over here, and then of course the namesake, the Bat Shuttle, and it retailed for $79.99 in the United States when this set was available, but it is retired as of this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at those minifigures and those Batman costumes over in the corner. So as you can see, the set comes with a great assortment of six minifigures, uh, three of which are Batman, Catwoman, and of course Robin, just styled as Dick Grayson. So the Batman that we get with this set is pretty cool. It's just the standard Lego movie Batman. He's got a little uh, growling snarl on this side, and then he's got a surprised face on this side. So the Batman that we get with this set is not excited about very much. Of course, he has the Lego Batman movie utility belt there, the spongy cape, and it's pretty standard as far as Lego Batman movie Batmans go. Now, the Robin figure is pretty interesting because it's almost identical to the collectible minifigure series Robin. I believe that this one has a slightly different belt print, though, and of course, the head print underneath is different as well. He's got an excited look on this side and then a uh, kind of bummed look on this side, but this head has shown up in other places. But as far as I know, this was the only Lego Batman movie set that you could get this version of Dick Grayson with the uh, uh, sweater on because the regular one came in the collectible minifigure series. Now, Catwoman is one of my favorite figures from the entire LEGO Batman movie line just because of the amazing, amazing print detailing on this. Check out the detailing on the arms, on the legs, and of course, she's got a purple version of Batman's utility belt, which is cool. It's a custom-molded helmet with some big green eyes on both sides. In this side, she's kind of looking uh, upset and snarling there. In this side, of course, she's a little happier. And she's got a black whip here, of course, like Catwoman is supposed to, a little cat zipper on the suit, and all in all, it's a really, really cool figure. I love those purple printed arms. So unusually cool. So, now we've got the uh, Bob Marley Batman, and I'm not sure, uh, I think this is just called Reggae Man Batman, which is interesting because it's basically just like a Robin costume uh, deconstructed. Now, this headpiece, of course, is entirely custom, and it's pretty unbelievable that uh, they made this one-off piece that'll very likely never be used again in another LEGO DC or Batman set just for this, but... All three of these Batman suits that are kind of on the display back there have these white heads to show that they're on display, which accurately too, the arms are white, so that could be interesting for some customs, that green and white combo. What would you guys use that for? Drop a comment and let me know. Uh, then, of course, we've got this nice cape here. Uh, the, even the back of the suit looks a lot like Robin, but it's a shorter cape. And then he's got these uh, dull molded legs with red on the bottom, green on top. And uh, those could be used for like a Christmas custom or something, but it's a really cool looking figure, and I like that one a lot. Now, this next one we've got is Firestarter Batman. And uh, this is cool. Of course, the Batman logo has some flames coming off of it. Of course, that white head again, but check out this cool, like, I, it's hard to even explain what color yellow this is. It's not mustard yellow, and it's not like bright yellow like the back of this set has or like Batman's belt. It's like a really interesting burnt yellow color, which is fitting considering this is Firestarter Batman. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's what the back of the figure looks like. Really nice looking figure. I like this one. It took me by surprise a lot. And then, of course, this one here is Space Batsuit Batman, and uh, he's got a cape. But, you know, I don't know why you would need a cape in space. But these black legs are really, really nice right there. I really like those. Really solid uh, mechanical look. Then when you lift that off, of course, another white head. A breathing suit with a bat logo on it. And when you flip that around, it's almost reminiscent of Mr. Freeze. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this black and gold helmet, of course, this gold piece is a piece of its own. But I always have trouble getting those off once I put them on. So I guess I'll just leave it as is. But uh, yeah, this is a really, really cool figure, and uh, it's pretty valuable in BrickLink, too. I was kind of surprised to see. So that said, those are our minifigures from this set. Drop a comment and let me know which of these figures you like the best. And in the meantime, let's keep moving on on the review of this set. All right, so back to the set here, you can see we've got this little bat kayak here. Now, honestly, I feel like this just kind of runs the piece count up. I mean, it's a cool design, definitely consistent with the, uh, you know, Lego Batman movie theming of his vehicles with the black, red, and gray, but I don't know. The kayak just seems a little lackluster for me and doesn't do it. But it does sit on this little pivot thing here, so it would be a cool addition to your Lego Batman movie Batcave if you have that. Uh, I'm going to save the shuttle for last just because everything's kind of hinging on that set. 
Of course, we've got those minifigures we took a look at. Then there's this nice little weapons uh, rack right here, which is cool. There's a gun here, which doesn't actually have the grapple in it because it's on display right there. We've got two batarangs and then three of these little uh, spiky things. I can't really remember ever seeing Batman use those, but they're still pretty cool nonetheless. Now over here, we've got a little computer which shows the suits cycling through where they're at. Of course, you just make believe because that's a sticker on there. Then there's a uh, sticker here showing that Catwoman has entered the Batcave, and here it shows another thing of the uh, suits cycling through. Now back here, we've got some space shuttle lights, which are pretty cool. You can move these up or down as you wish. Um, and it's interesting because it's built onto a little hinge in the back here. It's kind of hard to show without taking the set apart, and there's really no need to take it apart, but it is an interesting little construction build there that it kind of wings off the back of the set, as you can see. Now you can see that there's these flat tiling pieces here. These are pretty neat. And uh, of course, we took a look at those suits. Now the play feature is, is that you can push these suits along this little track that they run. And it's kind of hard to see because it's black and shadowy in there. But there's this little track that these suits run in. And uh, you can kind of just push them or pull them along. It's a little fragile. So, you know, as I just pulled that Batman figure, you don't want to pull it by the figure because those come off. But you can just kind of run your thumb just like that and have this move. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bat Shuttle, of course, the namesake of this set. So you can see moving this platform out that there's a little U-shaped piece here that the shuttle uh, kind of cradles in, as you can see. So we'll just move that out, and I'm going to set the shuttle down like this so that you can see it in all of its glory. Now, of course, a lot of actual space shuttles will take off like this, straight off the ground, you know. And uh, there's no exception with this Batman one here. So it's largely built with like a Technic spine running through the center here of these two engine fueled turbines. If you turn this on the underside, you can see that there's all these cool translucent orange pieces to be like flames taking off. And then there's these really interesting gray chamber pieces here, pieces I've not seen in a Lego set before. Um, if you guys can think of anything that these chamber pieces were in, let me know, but I can't say I've ever seen anything like it. Now, of course, the Bat Shuttle hinges right on here and hopefully nothing breaks as I take this off. Nothing broke, but sorry if that was a little loud. <laughs> Anyways, you can see that there's these hinges built onto this uh, like turbine thing here. Don't forget about these Batman stickers here with, uh, you know, just kind of showing the caution signs here. But you can see these hinges right here. And when you take the bat shuttle and you look on the underside, you can see these two really unique ball joint hinge pieces that are underneath. So when you line those up perfectly, they just snap right on like that so that they can interlock until the shuttle would get off to space for your pretend adventures. So let's go ahead and move this and set this aside and just take a look at the bat shuttle now. Uh, the set itself is really a solid construction. It's really great. I'd love to see the Lego Marvel sets take a page from this because this is just such a great uh, sturdy construction. Now, of course, you can open up the cockpit here, and there's room for one pilot just sitting right in there. Of course, we would more than likely make a Batman sitting in there, so that's that. And then, of course, you can close this back up just like that. Now, the centerpiece opens here, and there's a little Bat Rover inside, which is really cool. Nice little surprise. Of course, it was on the box art and everything, but you just move this antenna up, and then the Bat Rover has these uh, little wheels that it rolls on just like that. There's a little Batman logo sticker on the back that's pretty cool, and then this just folds back down. That's what the inside looks like, so no room for any uh, cargo passengers or anything like that if you put that in there. But I suppose if you wanted to have an adventure and take Robin to space or something, you could set him right in there and it would close. So just depends on what your Batman mission is going to need to be, or your kid's Batman mission if this is for the kiddos. So of course there's these little uh, flick fire pieces here. I always call that that, but they're actually stud shooters is the technical name. So what happens is when you push those down, it shoots the stud out just like that. I don't want to shoot it, though, because I don't want to lose this stud. I want to make sure I keep this set as complete as possible. We do have some uh, caution stickers on the wings here. And then, of course, this exhaust piece. There is no play feature, though. Uh, it's just the exhaust as is. There's what it looks like from the back. And I'll give it a little 360 spin so you can see the entirety of the Bat Shuttle. Nice printed Bat logo on the front there, too. Need to point that out. Got some Bat Shuttle stickers on the side there, and that's basically it. Nice solid construction from the bottom. So let's go ahead and zoom out and take a look at this set as a whole. What do you say?
All right, guys, well, I really like this set. As we take one final overview here, this is a cool set. I remember seeing this on store shelves, and it wasn't all that long ago as of making this video. It just recently retired. But I actually picked this up as part of a very large Lego haul, and the whole haul only cost me $100. So considering this was 80 plus tax new, and I got this and a bunch of other sets for $100, I'm definitely very happy to uh, have gotten to build this one. It's a cool set, and if you like it, be sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you think. If you'd like to pick up this set, you can visit the link in the description below to pick it up, and uh, it'll help support my channel and won't cost you a dime extra. So thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. Drop a comment, hit like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.